Hey y'all, welcome back to Maddie's Kitchen. And today I'll be making y'all some mackerel. I had made uh, salmon croquettes on my ch children for sure family. And I want you to check it out because I'll be using the same thing, every ingredient that I use there. But I might add a little bit mustard to this. I haven't taken it out yet because mustard kind of, uh, you know, toned down the mackerel. But anyway, I'll be using for my mackerel, of course I'll be using Bumblebee Chub Mackerel, two cans of them. I got salt, I got pepper, I'm using some oil, and a little tap of honey. And I have a, a three stoplight of peppers. I have yellow, red, orange, and of course a bell pepper, an onion, some saltine crackers. These are all my ingredients. Plus I might put a little mustard in there. And here they are chopped up. This the, all of them are chopped finely. Okay, I'll get back with you all. Okay, you all, I moved everything out of the way that I didn't need. But you know what I forgot to tell you all? Sometimes you do. That's why it's best to have all your ingredients out. And I, when I looked at everything, I decided, I saw that I didn't have the eggs. So I'm going to use, for each can, I had two cans to use an egg for each can. So I'm using two eggs. Put them in here. But I did, I, like I said, I used two cans. And you know when you're using salmons and mackerel, they have bones in them. So you make sure you take the bones out of them and throw them away. Some people say the bones are good for you, but I don't know. I'm not taking a chance on it. It says it has good vitamins in it and in the bones, but I took them out. I deboned them. And this is two cans. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eggs. I'm getting ready to mix this up. And I'll cut my stove on and let it get warm like the temperature that I need. So I'm gonna throw, put my eggs in here. Throw the eggs in here. Then I'm gonna just start my uh, peppers. So assuming you're doing peppers, it's best to spread the peppers all over the uh, ingredients that you're doing. And then you'll know you got enough. Just spread it over lightly, okay? That's some uh, yellow. So I'm, I'm gonna put a little green in here. And they, I chopped them really fine. Y'all see how I chopped them? They chopped really fine. Cause you don't want to, uh, they got to cook too, so you don't want them too big, because they have to cook with your some. That's green. Now I'm going to put some orange. Okay, I see I'm covering the whole thing. You can see how I'm covering them. And here's the red. And this be so good. Them peppers make this taste so good. Just check out my kids' family with the salmon. They are so good. And they're doing pretty good, too. Now, here's my, this is a yellow onion. So, let's see, I'm spreading all the way across. That's how you know you got when you kind of cover your food. And, okay, then I'm going to get back with you. Okay, I got all my uh, ingredients in there. I got the, all the peppers, the stoplight, the onion, and the eggs. Now, I'm getting ready to add my, um, I'm going to put a little tap of honey. So, I put the honey in there just a little bit. You just you get uh, kind of, uh. Take the uh, tone it down a little bit. Mackerel is a little uh, sharper than uh, salmon to me, but they are very good for you. Put a tap of salt. You don't need much salt, just a tap. And pepper is really good to put in there. Make sure you put pepper in there. See how I'm doing it? Just carrying it across. And I'm gonna put some mustard in here because, like I said, I didn't mention that first. That mustard kind of toned it down to me just a little bit. I'm gonna put a lot. See, that's enough. This, that's enough. And then I'm gonna mix this up a, a little bit with my hands. Make sure you have on some gloves to mix it up because it can get a little messy. And I'm mixing this up because I'm gonna get ready to, uh, the last thing you add in here is your uh, sa uh, saltine crackers. Because you wanna see how much you got to put in there. And, and when you're putting saltine crackers in there, this looks so good. When you're putting saltine crackers in there, you don't know how many you're gonna put in there. All you know, you're gonna make it, you're gonna put enough to form it into a patty. So I got that mixed up, so I'm gonna put my crackers in there now. Put some crackers in there. About the minute, seven, so about half a pack for this. I know how much it is because I did it before. When you break them up a little bit, you can break them up before you put them in there. That is easy saving time. I just can break them up now. The eggs and the crackers is what hold this together. Okay, I'm gonna mix this well and I'm gonna get back with you all. And if you don't have enough crackers, just make sure. You put enough crackers in there to make it into a patty, like a, you know, a sausage patty. That's how you want the firmness of it. Okay, then I'll get back with you all. Okay, 
I already mixed it well together. You can see my vegetables. Like I said, I got the stoplight uh, peppers, red, yellow, and orange. I also use a green pepper. I got some saltine crackers in here, salt, pepper. I got a little honey in here too, and yellow onion. But make sure, I, the reason I put a little mustard in here was to tone it down a little bit, tone it. You know, that's kind of fishy uh, taste in it, and that helps it to me. Okay, I'm getting ready. Out of those two cans, I think I can make about six. I'm getting ready to shake them. Ready. I got my grease. I cut it down. It was kind of hot. I'm gonna, you don't want your grease to be too hot because it'll cook them too fast. So I'm shaping them. See how good they shape? But those, I use a half of, uh, for those two cans, I use a half, of, a little over half a pack of uh, saltine crackers. Okay, see, that's shaping really. They, to me, they're shaping better than the salmon. They're easy. That's shaping real good. I'm gonna make about six of these. See how pretty. Make cook, make sure you smooth them out because you don't want the uh, you want the pepper to cook inside the uh, the mackerel. See how pretty that look. I'm gonna put these in here. They kind of big. Those are the ones. If I went into a restaurant, those are the ones. That's the size I would like. Yeah, I like this size. Okay, I'm going to make about three, and I'm going to get back with you all, showing you how to form. All you do is just form them and show, push the peppers back in them, you know, so they won't bust open. And like I said, two eggs and the saltine cracker was good. Now, on my kids' channel, I did everything. The only thing I didn't put in the, uh, my salmon was the mustard. I put everything else, and they doing real good, and they were good, too. And I want y'all to go on their channel. If you haven't been on there and visited yet, you cook, you taste that their salmons and see which fish you like the best, the mackerel or the salmon. Okay, I'm gonna get back with y'all when I get through forming these. Okay, you all, when you use, when you're making your salmon uh, or your, your mackerel, that's what I'm making today, take them and put it in a scoop, you know, and then you they won't be uneven. You know, you can put, you know, put them in a little scoop and then you can each one and just, you know, put them in a place and then you shape them last. But see, one of them is smaller, but it don't matter because I'll be eating this for my house. Okay, I'm going to try the first one. Make sure there's no holes in it. See how they shape so pretty? The better, the better you shape them, the prettier they're going to look when you serve them. Okay, I'm going to put this one and see if the grease hot. I'm putting this one in there. Okay, it's hot. Good, I'm going to cut it down. That's good. That's a good heat. Put all of them in there. And let them fry. And make sure if you see holes, kind of put them in like I do. So, kinda, so they won't break apart. Okay. I'm going to try to get four in here. Now see the grease. You don't want the grease to cover them. See, that's enough grease in there. Oil, whatever you use. Olive oil, shortening. Lord, if you got to use, you ain't got to be all. Use that. Use that. That's what my mama used to use. That's all we had. Okay, I'm going to let these cook a little bit. So that's how much grease you want in and when you're getting ready to turn them over, I'm going to show you. Sometimes I have to use two spatulas, but sometimes one is good. Okay, I'll get back with you. Okay, when you're cooking them, you know you want to, to cook them slow so it can cook all the way through. You know, you're going to turn them. And, but one thing about it, some people like they're cooked hard, some people don't. But this is already cooked. The fish is cooked, so it don't matter. You know, whatever you desire. I'm gonna let these uh, cook and you test them. You, you hold them up a little bit and then you test them. But see, if they can move around like that easily, most time they're ready. Just move them around a little bit. But if you want them to look pretty, you want to serve them pretty. You don't want them to break up. See, when they can move around, most time they're done. Okay, uh, I might, they probably gonna look at them a little bit and see how they look under the bottom. See, can you see that? Yeah, see, that's a little, I need to cook just a little bit more. Okay, y'all, they're frying now. Pretty good. They're looking good. I'm going to take them and see how they look. See? I don't want them too dark. I'm going to turn them over. I can use my hand, but you can use it. Oh, that's so pretty. That is so beautiful. I know it's going to taste good. See? Uh-oh, you, uh -uh, you got to be careful with them. See? I should have used that spot. They're easy, you know. You have to be a little careful with them. And that's the best way to do. Use a spatula that I use with my summer. So you can take this so they won't fall and do it just like this right here and turn them over. See how simple that is? Oh, they look so good. They look delicious, but I just use my hand, honey, because I'm used to it. Oh, boy, them things look so good. 
Move them around a little bit so they can cook here. Yeah. And keep the stove uh, kind of, you know how I got it? Kind of low so they can brown and cook all in. Okay, I, I'll get back with you in about two minutes. It don't take no more than three minutes or four minutes, you know, on each side. And I'll get back with you all. Okay, then. They ready. They been frying about three minutes until they get this golden brown. It doesn't, you know, each stove is different. I'm not going to tell you how long to cook them. But, you know, look how that looks. See, that is so good. That looks so good. I'm going to put them in here and drain the grease off of them. And I got two more left. How that looks. That looks so good. They thick too, honey. You enjoy this. You probably don't need but one. But what I will do with this, I will fry me some potatoes and make it an entree. Some potatoes, fried potatoes, and I'll make it an entree. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the two I got left. And here, oh, see that? See how that broke up? See how that broke up? You can put them back together. Sometimes I was kind of, you know, rushing. Make sure when they break up, put them back together. They go right back together. See how I did that? And the reason it broke up is because I, I put it in the skillet. Well, that's right, but I want to show y'all one broke up too. And just put them back together. They'll shake back. See? Put them back together. If they don't, just taste the same. Just, you know, you eat that one. And if you serve them to somebody, you get the one that's messed up. Okay, y'all. Here's my presentation of my sam macro. I'm sorry, I keep saying sam, but they are macro. And they look delicious. And they taste that pepper. That, that honey, that uh, those peppers and onions and, and saltine crackers, it is so good. I want you to check out my For Sure family, my kids' channel. I cook some salmons. I want you all to compare the difference in the taste. And the only thing different that I put in these mackerel were the mustard. But cook exactly like and taste almost exactly like. Thank you all for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen. Make sure you hit that notification bell when I, um, when I upload a video and you'll be able to see, be the first to see it. And thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends and family. And thank you again for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen.